Hi Virgo, welcome to my channel. This is your reading for the next week. Let's see Virgo, what do we have for you? A quick message for Virgo. We have contemplation. You're waiting about the situation, making plans for the future, and miracles are coming for you. There you go. Going to be very unexpected, some good news, a new offer. You need to focus. There you go. That's the Six of Pentacles. The Six of Pentacles is equal give and take. You are going to receive an offer, a gift. It is also time for you to be generous. Open your heart again. Okay? What you don't see coming, there you go change is coming in your life. So Wheel of Fortune. Look, it's on your side. Let's see. We have the Six of Cups and the Page of Wands. The Six of Cups is about your past. Be like a friend of yours, someone from your past is coming back in your life, is going to help you, or you are going to receive a gift from this person. And with the Page of Wands, it's a new adventure. It's you feeling really excited about something new, it's a new direction, a new way in your life. Can we talking about the movement, traveling, Virgo. It's a tree of pentacles. It's creating something new, but not alone, in collaboration with others. Can we be talking about a job offer or someone wants to work with you, working in family, creating stability, foundation, something stable. It's a form, it's a new passion, a new idea. It's about creativity. Can be talking about a new connection here. There you go. We have the nine of wands. The nine of wands is very challenging. You've been fighting a lot about the situation. Defending yourself, it's a training, a formation. For some of you, you are creating your, a project. Don't give up, you're almost there. There you go. Time for you to be strong and a little bit more patient. You can see? We have the four of ones. It's a celebration. You are going to celebrate something. It's about your home, your freedom, stability, or it's a connection. It's a Mayash card also. Stability in relationship. Let's see. It's a strong card. Having courage about the situation. Or you are dealing with a Leo, Virgo. It's about compassion, your inner strength. Three of us have been very patient about something. It's going to change. Your ship is coming. You'll be talking about the Pisces, this Cancer. 
with the moon cards is time for you to trust in your intuition you need to face in your fear your show is about your dream an illusion a secret just don't give up with the nine of wands and the moon Clarity is coming about the situation. It's a tree of pentacles for vehicle. It's a tree of pentacles. It's a two of pentacles. It's you very busy juggling a lot, doing a lot of things at the same time. Your life needs balance, Virgo. It's time for you to make a decision also. Ace of Wands, a new passion or a new job. What is the Ace of Wands? Whoops. Oh. We have the Empress. The Empress is about fertility, abundance, healing. She's even feminine, is Taurus, Libra energy. For some of you with the Ace of Wands, it's about passion and the Empress, we have the Moon also. It's just for some of you, it's an opportunity to get pregnant. Okay. Let's see. Nine of Wands. It's so very strong. What is the Nine of Wands for Virgo? So Four of Pentacles. You are making plan for the future. Protecting your money. Four of Wands. Stability. A celebration. What is the four of wands? We, so seven of cups is having options. Or oh, it's about confusion. About something. Let's see more what's going on. The string cards. Where's the string card? So three of wands again. It's you very patient about something. Got the three of wands twice here. It's you waiting for something or someone. Definitely it's going to happen, okay? Of a miracles coming for you, Virgo. And with contemplation, is you very patient, making plans for the future. There's a tree of wands. There's a tree of wands for Virgo. You've been feeling stuck about something, but the eight of swords, you can see. It's just an illusion that for you to free yourself from this situation. The world is yours, Virgo. Let's see with the moon. It's fertility, your dream, your intuition, seduction. You can see, it's the end of a cycle in your life. Success. Happy ending about the situation. You've been very patient and very strong about something, Virgo. Let's see more with a wheel. Mm. A gel and it's about a connection. Two firm connections. Two of cups. You can see it's a connection between two very different people. A lot of love, balance in relationship. Can be talking about 
a Capricorn. With the devil energy, the devil is also thinking about passion. Okay. Let's see. The three of pentacles. The three of pentacles. The three of pentacles is creating something in family, something stable. There's the three of pentacles. Have the fox. Can be talking about your job. So you're very intelligent. You are using your mind as being strategic. See with the ace of wands, passion or a new job, new idea, new beginning in your life. With the ace of wands, oh, we have the stock, it's a change coming for you. We see Empress, definitely for some of you. It's an opportunity to get pregnant, okay? Also, someone wants to have a family with you. Something stable. With the three of wands twice, can be talking about someone is coming, is taking action to be with you. Here we go. Cups. With the nine of wands. Cups the moon again. And the key. A new door is open for you. The so moon in the moon on deck is also talking about success in business. But the moon is your repetition, fertility, your intuition. Seduction. Let's see. Four of Wands. Miss the Four of Wands. It's about family with the back out. Having courage about the situation. So for you to be strong and fair. It's like the string cards. Oops. Where is the string cards? To Virgo. Where is the string card? I'm sorry. I have a children right here. <laughs> sorry. Where is the string cards? It's about communication or something online. going to receive a message from a person. So three of wands, let's see. There's a three of wands for Virgo. So you're waiting. Waiting for something or waiting for someone. And some more. Where's the moon? Because the book I got, yeah, it's a gift, an invitation, a love offer. Happiness is coming for you, Virgo. We are going to see next week. Whoops. 
we have a family room. It's a privileged lady and bad health. This God, it's about healing. Time for you to rest, to take care of yourself. We have go with family room. It's a celebration in your home with your friend, your community, your family. You are going to celebrate something next week. And with privileged lady, it's you working really hard to create your own abundance. She has everything she wants. She's very independent, beautiful. She's taking care of herself. Okay. Be ready to receive a miracle in your life, here go. So you're really happy about this change. So the wheel of fortune and the stock here. Like a beautiful connection with someone very different from you. We have a Leo energy. Libra. Taurus. Okay. If something's going to happen, you've been very patient about these things. It's going to be a happy ending with the world, an accomplishment about a situation. There you go. Okay? So you're really happy with the book of cards. There you go. This is your reading. Thank you so much for watching and being here. Take care.